Hey guys, this is Insum5 with a redstone component video. Alright, so you've gotten started. You've got some farms set up, maybe some grinders, and you want to hook it up to a system, maybe smelter, filtration system, but you realize as you're about to hook it up, or maybe unfortunately after you've already hooked it up, that it's not going to work. It's not going to work right because you're going to have items slowly trickling through your supply line and they're just going to keep your system running. It'll shut down, turn back on, fire up, shut down, just constantly. And pretty much any advanced sort of machinery is going to have some sort of lag or sound or something and you really just don't want it running all the time. So this is a component that I've used uh, in different spots throughout my survival worlds. Basically it is a supply depot or maybe you can think of it as like an item dump or uh, just a staging area. So let's get a look at it. This is the basic components all color coded and spread out. I didn't stack it or try to fit it into any particular space. I just wanted to show you the basic concept and how it works. All right, so we're going to grab a bunch of items here. Uh, mm, about that. Okay. All right, so this is your basic supply line, and it's coming in. This is your piece of machinery. I'm just going to put an item elevator here. It's the easiest thing for me to put here. I'm not going to build a whole storage system just to show you how it works. This is going to be a delay, and it's going to buffer your items as they come through. So... What we're doing is items are coming through your supply line. They go into this chest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. This chest is set up so that when about 12 stacks hit it, it's going to fire this um, delay. It's going to fire immediately, but then it's going to stay activated for an extended period of time. It's a modified uh, etho clock that's been turned into a long delay. I've actually mentioned it in some of my other builds, the uh, some of the sorter systems over there. Anyway, after it activates that delay, it's going to turn off, or yeah, it's going to deactivate these hoppers that are sitting here activated that are holding the items in the chest, letting them go free into the machine. So they go all the way around, comparator picks up the signal, this is your delay, and this is the switch to turn the chest on and off. So I'll show you what happens when I put in the next chest. The machine goes ahead and fires up and starts activating because the items are getting dumped in. Now, this over here is the clock part of your delay. And I've figured out that I'm getting, what is it? It's like four stacks to one in here. Yes, I'm getting four stacks to one. So, what this is doing is I've got it measured out so that this will stay on long enough to drain 12 stacks of items plus whatever items have drained into the system. Because you always want it to drain a little bit more. Alright, and once everything, once this clock runs out, It's going to reactivate the hoppers, and then as items are coming in, 
it'll hold them here in this holding chest until it fills back up to 12 stacks again. This way the machine is only running in bursts. It's not constantly starting up and then turning back off. Am I making sense? I hope so. Anyway, this delay, a lot of people use it, but I haven't really seen too many folks explain it very well. So we've all seen uh, videos, well, not maybe not all of us, but most of us, uh, the long clocks that we use, we've seen these videos of the Etho Hopper clock. And basically, the clock just runs back and forth as these hoppers pass back and forth. And then you can pull a signal off of one of these components, usually right here. Pull off one of those. Or you can pull off back here off the hoppers. But normally, you pull off this side. What we're going to do is we're going to convert this into a long delay. All right. So, instead of two sticky pistons, we're going to take that out, replace it with a regular piston. Going to go ahead and put that back. And then we're going to pull a comparator off of this hopper so that things go all the, as things are going all the way into the hopper, this is activated. And then as things go all the way back, it's activated and then it turns off. So let me see here. Let's go ahead and put some items in here. And then you'll see that as they go back and forth, they go ahead and basically sets off an electrical line that you can just use as a long delay. This is where you're going to want to power it. Most likely, say something like this, where you run a repeater into it. This still needs to stay redstone. And then as it runs out, it shuts off. So that's your long delay. That's a really useful circuit and not that folks that many folks have uh, described it that well. But anyway, these two I should probably explain. Just in case something gets left, like say it pulled all the stacks and something ended up not coming out of the machine. This is a manual purge. That'll just start one instance of the clock and go ahead and empty everything out of the chest for you. This is a bypass switch. This is going to completely turn all of this off and now it's just the supply line and the tower working. Now this is, like I said before, this is all spread out and this is color coded with brown as the supply line, green is the machine, red as the power to the delay, black as the delay, purple to the switch, and then into the chest. All right, the reason I've got it all spread out like this is I could totally fit this into a much smaller area, but that's not really gonna help anyone learn anything. It's more important for someone to be able to look and see the individual components. All right, guys, if I didn't explain myself well, need to make another video, uh, you guys just let me know. Uh, just give me any input, and I'll see you next time, guys.